So I wanted to get your thoughts on what you feel it is about Star Trek that has stood the test of time now for over 50 years. Characters, really it is, you know, they're relatable. The, the It's funny, I was just thinking about this last night because I was fortunate to have dinner with John Savage who is in Star Trek uh, on the TV show. And I was watching his segment and I just thought, how is it that this guy who did hair, who, who did uh, the deer hunter, is also in a Star Trek film? And it, it's because it's good characters with good story arcs, with good scenarios and situations. It just happens that it's in outer space. What role has technology, the advances in technology, played with you and the creatures that you can create? We can move so much quicker now with so much greater accuracy as the potential end result almost at the beginning. Whereas before it was a pencil sketch that would evolve into a color painting that would evolve into a clay sculpture. Now, like with the Klingons, I started off immediately sketching in digital clay so JJ could really see the potential very early on. It helps you make decisions quicker and also helps the director be much more collaborative with the artist. Where do you draw inspiration from when it comes to creating new creatures? It all depends on the creature, of course. So we have kind of like polar opposites with the Star Trek. We've got the Nibirans, which is an indigenous tribe of people. So I, I went basically to the Himba tribe as a reference point for me, which are people that cover themselves in mud and animal fat. Obviously our Nibirans didn't do that. They did something similar in terms of camouflage in their bodies. So I was making those references. And then with um, our Klingons, that was referencing more evolved tribal um, characteristics with piercings and scarification and so on. And, but whatever it is, you, you must do your research to really uh, infuse it with the reality of life.